Hello, I'm Droopin here. Welcome back to Trigon Space Story, where of course in the last episode we managed to backtrack, if we just come over to here, we managed to backtrack all the way back through here, take out the uh, gatekeeper and then get into this zone here. And I think we'll do a bit of grinding. What is that bounty? It's only uh, 4.89, it's not too bad. Uh, I've also got this side quest over here. Uh, which is this one, so uh, war never changes. I think Place in the Sun is way over here. Yeah, it's over in this kind of central ring here of the uh, galaxy, so uh, yeah, we'll kind of leave that one. We are at the space station, and we do have a hull breach, so let's get a Megavolt to go down there, have a quick fix of that, and then we'll heal him up. He's taking a bit of damage, but he's got that fixed. There we go, perfect. We'll go back there, get, get him all healed up, and then we need him to go back in the... Um, in the in the uh, shields because he provides like a load of power so um, yeah we definitely need him to do that that's all good fix the hull um we could go and look at the shop i guess because i mean why not but i'm thinking of jumping away and just cashing that mission in uh, let's go and have a look at the shop anyway there might be something good in here uh, shipyard we could repair the ship but i'm going to hold off on that and use scrap to do as much of it as i can uh we've got the got an emp blaster i mean that's not bad actually for damaging shields that would be quite nice to have. Um, twin Plasma Cannon, no. That's a Twin Plasma Cannon again, isn't it? Yeah, Twin Plasma Cannon, okay. I'm not going to buy anything else, I don't think. Uh, we could buy some more supplies, I guess. We'll hang on to that for now. We've got enough supplies, it's only one away. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the people as well. Engineer, Shield, Pilot, Shield, and Medic. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't mind a Weapons Operator if we found one of those. Uh, I wouldn't mind trying to get one of those, but I think we'll try and work on more of the shields and the maneuverability of the craft. I think that's probably the next thing to go for. Uh, this upgrade so we can see stations on the map would be really nice as well, uh, just to kind of help us out when we jumped into a new zone. I think that would be a good one. And maybe the cryo chamber or something so we wouldn't have to uh, space someone like we did in the last episode. Not that we had to do that, but I felt like... I got four engineers. I don't really need any. I don't need four engineers, as far as I'm aware. So, um, but anyway, let's jump away, and we'll come back over to here and just get that mission cashed in. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a trap or something, but you know, let's jump over and find out. So, accept, uh, accept uh, gratitude. Uh, you will be rewarded. This time was worth the money. Ooh, oh damn, sixteen fifty. Oh my god. As you went to, okay, there's a Venator ship chasing me, but that's okay. Wow, almost four grand. Holy jeepers. Oh, we've got a Nebula. Okay, so I can't see inside. That's fine. Let's just give them... What do they got? I mean, I wonder if I could just use the lasers. To be honest, we've got so many Speedfire rockets, we might as well use those as well. Um, let's hit all of that. We probably... Ah, they're going to dodge. Son of a... Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure whether they actually dodge in there, but whatever it did, it did not help them out. So, my God, we wrecked them really quickly. Oh, and some more money. So, it's take us over four grand. And we've got well over 400 scrap as well. Uh, what do you actually like on the cargo? So, we've got like a ton of Speedfire rockets. They only stacked to 50. And, ooh, the scrap only stacks to 300. Interesting. Okay, well, we definitely want to use those two. I'm probably just going to sell the Speedfire rockets because I don't need that many. Uh, let's jump back to the station. I mean, I guess we could go there and just kind of make our way round. Hmm. Let's just go back to the station. Why not? We've got, we got four grand. we got 435 in the scrap. We may as well use it. Uh, we're going to use the scrap first. Uh, let's just check the station. Uh, you never know. I don't think anything will have changed. Ooh, okay, it has. That's there. I wouldn't mind one of these uh, laser cutters, but I'd like a better one than that. Because um, they're pretty decent. They wear an FTL anyway. Uh, as I, say, I think I'm just going to sell all of these off. I'm only going to get like 27, but... Oh no, 36. Okay, fair dues. I'm sure I said one. Yeah, okay. Either way, I got my money back, so that's good. Um, we could buy some more of those, but I think I'm just going to hold off on them for now. Um, that's all good. Ooh, defense drone. I wouldn't mind that. That would be quite nice. It'd be quite nice to have a drone. Uh, it's only a hundred quid as well. Hmm. Interesting. That is something to think about. Uh, let's buy up all of that anyway. Uh, we'll sell or we'll sell all of those off, 
Uh, let's get some food as well. We might as well buy up as much food as we can. Buy like 23 and go to the maximum stack. There we go. That's good. That might resupply. And then I think we'll come out of here. And uh, is there anyone new in the bar? Stat of Curiosity, Shield, Shield, Warrior. See, that guy would be quite nice um, to, you know, if you had a teleporter to send him over. But other than that, yeah, no, no weapons operator again. Never mind. Uh, although these ones just chew through the food, so I don't necessarily want to do that. But there we go. Did I? Oh, yeah, I bought all the food. I was just going to say, did I not sell a load of rockets? But yeah, I did. Uh, so let's repair those first. And then really, what else are we going to go for? I think probably just more shields and more power is probably a good one to go for. Actually, let's just quit out of there for a second. So we've got power, but obviously we've got this guy who is the human battery. If we move him out of there, we lose all that power. So we don't actually have any spare power. He is taking the two that we're using in there and putting them in there. Obviously, we need one to power up the drone. So really, we only have one power free. So I think up in the power grid, again, is a good one to go with. Let's go there, and we'll just use up a bunch of scrap. And I wouldn't mind going evasive, but I'd also quite like to go with the shields and just get more shields. Uh, I think these two are the probably ones to go for. I think the weapons are okay for the moment. Um, I guess the sensors and the doors might not be a bad one, just to uh, strengthen the doors, have armoured doors, that sort of thing. But I think that's something for later on. Again, the medic station would be quite nice just for some extra healing buffs. And this for some extra rush, for some extra drones would be really nice as well. Uh, let's buy this first, though. I think we'll do that first. There we go. So we've bought that. So that's passed another day on. Have they got anything new in here? Not sure if it recharges every day. Uh, no, it hasn't done anything yet. Uh, ooh, a combat drone as well. I quite like this defense one, though. For like 100 quid, I'm tempted to go for it. And we could power that up, couldn't we? Yeah, let's get it. Let's get that. And then we need more power there. So we need to upgrade the drone station. I think that's a good one to go for. Let's go with that. We'll upgrade that. So we are actually using up a lot of supplies. So we kind of got to be wary of that. So that's all good. So if we just... Let's just power these up. They're up. So we've got one energy free. So I think getting more uh, hyperdrive. What are we at now? 219. Uh, more power would be nice, but more shields would also be pretty good as well. Uh, I'd say doing the doors would be quite nice just to uh, strengthen those doors if we do get borders. Uh, that would be quite nice also. Um, the stations on the map would be a good one also, but... Hmm. I think the doors would be good. But obviously we need extra power for that. I think we'll go uh, evasion. Or no, let's go more shields. Let's go more shields. So that's... So we're going to spend 120. So we're going to have about 99 left. We could go with the... Uh, we could go with the door upgrade. But I don't think we could power it just yet. Uh, but we could go with that. But I think for now let's hold off on that. Ooh, shield breaker? I'm not sure what that unlock means. Does that mean is that's now available to buy or what? Not too sure. And then obviously two power left for that. And then I've got a bunch of cash to spend as well. I just figured I'd use the scrap first. Uh, anybody? Warrior? Engineer? Ooh. 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 Weapon operator. And he costs no food. Ooh. That would be kind of nice. But I think it... Ooh. I think we kind of have to go with that guy, don't we, really? Huh. I just spent all my money, though. That's the problem. Ooh. What else have we got in here? Have you got anything new? No, just those. Ooh, EMP blasters. Okay. So, yeah, we've got those. That's fine. We're all good there. I think we're all good here. We're all good with rockets as well, for the most part. Um, we've got tons of speed fires, and we'll load those when it's a tough fight, or when we think it's going to be a tough fight. So the problem is, is if we take her off the, off the, um, uh, the power grid, we're going to lose some of these weapons. I think that's a bit of an issue, but I guess we could sell a rocket launcher or something back. I think we got to go. I'd like, I'd like a weapons operator, and he costs no food. Is really weak because these um, 
Uh, these guys are really weak. 00359. <laughs> He's uh, really weak because they only have like 50 health. But he is a weapons operator. He costs no uh, he costs no money. He's got body armor, so he can take a little bit of damage. He's a weapon expert, and he's got a bullseye skill, which I'm not exactly sure what that does. But, yeah, I think we'll buy you up. Let's buy you, and we're going to put you into... Where are you? We're going to put you over there. Oh, Lucky Ticket actually has a name. So let's move you into here. I think as soon as Meg steps off... We're going to lose some power off those weapons. But if we just stand her in here, will we get power back? Yes, we will. Oh, that's good. Okay, so May can hang around in here. That's pretty good. And then we've got enough power to power that up. But I think adding more to the grid is probably a good idea. Uh, I know I'm probably spending a lot of time here, but I just want to get it right. So, ooh, that's going to tack me out of money, isn't it? Let's buy some more supplies. By 12, I'll take a full stack with me. Uh, we could actually sell a couple of the missiles, couldn't we? So like 35, and we'll get a bit of cash back so we won't spend too much then. That's all good. Uh, so we've got a defensive drone, um, so I think that's going to shoot like rockets and things down for us. Or at least help to shoot rockets down. Um, I'm pretty sure they did that in, in uh, FTL, but I could be wrong on that one. Hopefully I'm not. Um... Okay, I think we're good to go. I'm going to hang on to 16 grand because I'm not too sure what to spend it on, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, and we'll do a bit of back. We'll do a bit of uh, coming around here. And we'll just kind of uh, clear out this sector or something. Uh, let's go Let's go up to there and we'll pick a fight straight off the bat, shall we? Let's do that. We can always come back here. So we've got our new weapons operator. What I didn't actually look at what the uh, the Venator contacts you. He introduces himself as a local agent for the new reign and asks for your help. Uh, now there's a surprise. He offers you a payment in return for some information as well as his loyalty. It's like bargaining with the devil. Send his coordinates to a local pirate gang. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if that's a good idea. You are quick to find the locations of some nearby pirate dens and send the agent's coordinates to the gangs. A couple of hours later, one of the pirate gangs sends sends you credits uh, with no explanation. It appears the agent had a bit of a mishap. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's good. Oh, pirate ship has been chasing me. Oh, well, that's fine. That means we'll be able to reduce our bounty a little bit, so I'm okay with that. Right. Ooh. Um, let's hammer away. What are you at? Oh my god. Whoa, that's a... Oh my god, that's a powerful one. Okay, we'll hit that. We will block those shields a little bit, so we'll reduce those down. And then what's your bullseye thing like? Uh, accuracy? Oh. Oh, we get... Oh, we get like first strike. I think that might be worth it. And we'll hit some dodge as well. Get some evasion going. I hope they don't hit any evasive things. Should we hit that? Yeah, let's hit that. Let's hit that. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is pretty good. Oh, hang on, those are not firing. Uh, yeah, they're not on the. Uh, they're not on that. Okay, that's fine. That's actually damaged. So should we hit the weapons instead? Because that's completely knocked out now. And then, yeah, let's hit the weapons. And we will put that onto the weapons as well. See if we can smash up those weapons a bit. Ah, the lasers are... Oh, it's jumping. Oh! Son of a... It jumps out of there. Son of a biscuit. Oh, that's so sh such a shame. What's going on? too sure what's going on there but okay uh, I wouldn't mind just letting these tick down before we jump out of here if I'm honest oh I forgot to put my blooming drones on again <laughs> I keep forgetting about those oh man okay all right well there we go that's what it is I'm gonna let these tick down um I think that's probably a good idea before we jump to the next zone because damn that was a tough fight that's probably one of the toughest so far but with the skills that we had uh, we're able to really hammer it so yeah, I'm going to let these uh, tick up and then uh, we'll jump out of here, I think. 
Okay, right, there we go. I've just healed hands up because he was a little bit damaged and uh, we've got these things stuck on. I think the enemy um, put those on, so uh, hopefully they'll stop when we get out here. And everything's recharged, so let's jump and we will go... I'm going to kind of travel around as best as I can. Um, I want to just try and clear out some of these as best as possible and then... I guess we could take on a gatekeeper. I don't think we're going to do that this episode. I think really we're the, probably the best thing to do if we're going to take a gatekeeper on is to come over to here and take this gatekeeper on so we can open up the next bit of the story. I think that's probably a good idea. But at the same time, I am kind of thinking of maybe taking on one of these gatekeepers and just opening that up or something. Um, but we'll see anyway. I think for now we're just going to jump out here. So let's hope that that sound disappears. Yeah, there we go. Signal is encrypted, but it's uh, been broadcast on emergency frequency. How intriguing. Uh, you encounter a traffic on ship in the sector. They contact you, but the transmission seems sounds strange. After a couple of minutes, you realize their transmission may, must be faulty. Uh, send to fix the transmitter. Let's do that. I'm trying to help. It returns in uh, a couple of hours later, but it started using a different name and uh, acting rather weird. On the other hand, it becomes a lot more useful. All right, so scatterbrain. Abilities, uh, learning abilities are definitely not among their strengths. Learning abilities are reduced. Oh, great. Who got that? Oh, the new guy got scatterbrain. Oh, well. Never mind. So I guess he just doesn't level up quite as quick. Uh, yeah, this seems to be, like, stuck on. Never mind. Uh, we'll perhaps log out when, um, when we get back to a space station or something. But, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of fuel. So let's jump to the next sector. Didn't really get anything for that, unfortunately. We just got a crappy debuff, so I guess that was a bit rubbish. But, yeah, let's just go here, go here, and then possibly just sort of circle back, maybe. We'll see how we're doing, but let's let's kind of go up to here anyway, and we'll just keep clearing this sector out and see if we can get some goodies or something. Get a bit more cash, find some weapons, something like that would be nice. Uh, as you enter the system, you run into a large uh, slaver, and it's an automated... Such ships lure pirates into breaking their code and attempt to rob them. Fly closer and get in touch. Um, hmm. Let's fly to Greetings, mysterious. My name is Ragnar Ranar. So I was going to say Ragnar then, but uh, yeah, he's not a Viking. Uh, it doesn't sound nice in your language, but uh, I'm used to it. Uh, would you like to have a look at my goods and try and sell me uh, anything? Uh, all my slaves are first class. Armory module level 5. Ooh. Threaten them. Ransom the cheapest slave haggle. I'm going to threaten them. It's like, screw you with the slavery. Um, you activate all the weapon systems and, and intimidate the entire. You're obviously not going to destroy the entire ship of slaves, but what if he makes him pay? Uh, you could uh, certainly use the resources. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, fine. I get you. Uh, I'll give you some of my resources. And some of my men to aid you. Uh, just don't kill us. Deal. Oh, I've got given someone. Someone who consumes a crap ton of resources. But okay. Alright, what are you? Oh, another. Seriously, another engineer. Come on, game. I mean, to be honest, dude. I think we're just going to open the door on you straight away. You might have been better staying at you. <laughs> you might have been better staying in your slave ship. Um, consumes four supplies and instantly extinguishes all fires on the ship. That's not bad, but that takes supplies, yeah. That's pretty good, but... I don't really need an engineer that eats three food per jump. I just don't need it. Wow, he takes a lot of... Uh, yeah. So it's like, yeah, I'm consuming seven per turn. Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Sorry, we are doing that to you. Let's speed that up and we'll get that done quick here. Because, yeah, I, I, if that was like a... Well, you know, would have been annoying if it was a weapons operator. Let's put it that way. But if it was like a warrior or something, I might have hung on to him. But I just don't need an engineer. I'm sorry, bud. Sorry, mate. But, yeah, if I could sell you off or something. I guess I'm not really any better than the slavers, but there you go. Uh, right, that's fine. Yeah, that was a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to get some cash or something out of that. But, yeah, sorry, mate. 
uh, Raku Raka. Anyway, yeah, sorry, but um, yeah, you, you guys just consume way too much food as well. Right, let's jump to the next section. Yeah, it's like engineers. What's that? Fifth engineer or something I found out? Four or five? Just insane. I don't need any more. After you jump to uh, Hypersonus, you stumble across pirates. It seems they have been waiting for you. Oh, okay. Alright. And you are fairly weak source, so I think we will just do our usual pummel the crap out of the bridge. Um, do you want to fire that off? Yeah. There we go. Let's do that. Uh, do you want to fire that? Yeah, let's just fight. Let's just give them a total burst. We could wipe them out in one hit here. We'll see how it goes. Depends what they do. Ooh, there we are. That's not too bad. Taking them down. But yeah, the shields are holding quite nicely. So, oh, they've got some kind of shield buff. Shield boost? Ah, they're boosting their shield, yeah. What we'll actually do is target those two on the shields. Although it doesn't really matter, if I'm honest. Um... Oh, I thought he was jumping out of there, but no, he got wrecked. Yeah, shields are a tough call for us still. Another set of lasers might help that. Uh, destroyed the ship. We grabbed up a bunch of stuff. We dropped our bounty a little bit as well. We got some more scrap and some cash. And a bit more fuel, so that's good. Um, yeah, the rest of the ship is fine. We're still at 300. We haven't really taken any damage or anything. So, uh, yeah, this guy is hanging around there. So I guess if we fixed our ship or upgraded it anyway, we'd get attacked by these guys. But I think let's jump back to here now. Uh, can I get from there? No, I can't get from there to there. Fair enough. Okay, let's go this way then. And we'll just keep uh, traveling around and just try and upgrade the ship a little bit more. Uh, there is an unusual repeater on a Tachyon system. Uh, when you connect to it, it starts making strange sounds and transmitting mysterious codes. You spend some time decrypting it. Yeah, get you to uh, find that. Almost instantly finds the right key to the encryption. It points to a secret location with supplies. You follow the coordinates and actually find a hiding spot. Lucky you. Ooh, we got a bunch of scrap and some fuel. And okay, yeah, Venita ship has an, entered the system. So let's get ready for this one. They're reasonably tough. I think we are going to fire everything at the helm again. We are going to... Ooh, that's not on the repeat shot. Okay. I might have disabled that. Um, I'm going to strip your shield down. Um, and we could go a bit of evasive as well and just try and dodge your uh, shots. Uh, with that bullseye would be really nice though as well, just to shred you completely. Yeah, let's do it. let's do it. Why not? Consumes four scrap. We're going to strip those down. We're going to go with that one, and we're going to go with that one, and really hammer you home. Let's see. Let's see because we possibly don't need to fire the rockets. Actually, thinking about it, let's disable. Let's just use the lasers because I think that should shred them with enough hits. They haven't got any shield unless they go evasive or something. We should be able to shred them. Yep, there we go. That's took them down like no problem. There we go. I think they did something to us as well and uh, we lost our shields, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, that was good. So that means we saved on some um, saved on some rockets. I think that was worth it. Um, you know, use them if we have to, but otherwise don't bother. We are building up a nice collection of cash as well. Uh, which is really healthy. Uh, I think I'm going to wait again and let those decharge. I don't see any, or you know, um, come off cooldown. I don't see any reason not to do that. It doesn't cost you any food. Um, I think when you, I'm pretty sure when you do an action, like if I repaired the ship now or upgraded it, it would forward a day on and that might bring a Venator ship in. But as it stands, if I just sit here, I don't use anything, don't use any fuel, don't use any supplies, so... May as well just let those timers run down and then we've got them for the next fight. I don't see any reason not to do that. So I'm just going to sit here and let these tick down, I think. Okay, right, there we go. The bullseye is just ticking down to zero. There we are. I don't see any, I'll say, I don't see any reason not to do that. Uh, whilst I was just waiting, I noticed I don't think they can level up past level four. Everyone has got maximum experience, 300 of 300. 
So I'm going to assume that this is probably where it, where it ends, which is a bit of a shame. I was kind of hoping to level up a little bit more, but uh, there we go. I guess that is what it is. And also, I didn't charge my drones up again. You're probably telling me that in the comments, but yeah, I didn't charge my drones up. I just keep spacing on those drones all the time. I'm going to have to try and do that and uh, actually actually do those at some point because uh, they're going to be really helpful. It's just, you know, this thing's just going to peck away at them and this should give us a bit of defense against missiles and stuff. Uh, so that should be good. Uh, but I don't know, it might be different than the FTL. So let's jump. I'm kind of tempted to just continue flying around. I don't see any reason not to do that. We could clear this whole sector out. We're pretty badass at the moment so uh, once we cleared this sector out i'll say i think we'll backtrack back to here and we'll clear this gatekeeper out and continue our journey on i think i think that's probably a good idea but i think right now let's just get some uh let's just get some supplies and stuff uh going let's jump into the next sector and we'll see what our cargo hold is like because we're always getting full on the scrap so yeah Right, uh, one of the pirate clans in the current system is trying to contact you. They suggest searching for treasure. Now there's a surprise, but uh, you need to take a, take a, uh, make up your mind quickly. Should you take their risk? Ugh. Okay, let's listen, because buried treasure sounds pretty good, but it sounds like a trap to me. Uh, you have to listen to a long speech about a great pirate called... Oh, didn't we have this before? I can't remember how it ended, but... Um, Pirate ask you to use their map and find the treasure and ensure that no one else gets it. You don't understand why it's so important to the pirate, but take the map anyway. So yeah, treasure planet. I don't think we I think we had this, but we never actually did it right. Yeah, so treasure planet is there. I mean going through there would be quite nice. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? I think what we'll do though is we'll kind of loop around this way and just get some of these finished off and we'll kind of make our way back to the space station i think that's probably a good one to go for so let's go let's go there we'll leave that one we'll leave that one be i think any reason to not leave that one be um hmm yeah i think we'll i think we'll leave that one we could go up to that one from there couldn't we yeah yeah uh, leave one leave one mystery why not i think that's fine now we'll jump into this one. I think this one had a nebula, yes. So, uh, Token Patrol hails you. Uh, they ask you for help on a sense of uh, uh, manual for their new equipment. Uh, they have trouble understanding it. Uh, send the crew member over to sort it out. Easy installs their weapon and returns to you. Uh, this is uh, when the Rikiki decides to attack you, but uh, the new weapon explodes on their ship and emits and it eliminates the entire crew. <laughs> He's weirdly silent. <laughs> okay. Well, that was pretty good. We just got a load of cash for nothing. I thought we were about to get attacked then, but yeah, nothing. Um, so we got four. What have we got? About another six jumps worth. So yeah, we should be easy to go there. Go there. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we do that, and we'll just ignore that Sigmas there. That's okay. I think that's fine. Yeah. Let's jump to here next then. Oh, can I not jump to there? Yes, I can. There we go. Jump to there next. And try and get that done. Uh, we might pick up some supplies along the way as well. As you fly through the Antari system, uh, you happen across a planet with an old city. Uh, very rare, but uh, maybe you should visit and uh, play archaeologist. Okay. Yes, yeah, walk around the city. Uh, you go down to the city and start excavating and searching for the ancient Antari technology. A couple of hours later, you find a weapon pod and immediately open. Turns out to be empty and your crew is starting to feel a little under the weather. Oh, brilliant. Oh, great. And we'll just took damage. As you enter the system. Oh, brilliant. So everyone's taken a little bit of damage. Pretty much apart from the pilot. So again, I think we are just going to give you the full Monty. Let's do that. We'll disable your shields. And that might just be enough. I don't think we need to worry about the bullseye because we only got to get a few hits on you. So we're firing, um, what is it, 5, 9, 10, 11. We're firing 11 projectiles at you, each able to do quite a bit of damage. So I think we're okay. As long as we land a couple of good hits, we should just shred that ship. There we go. That's just so nice. We've got a pretty good setup here. I'm quite pleased with it. 
Uh, might be getting a little... Oh, boy. Might be getting a little bit overconfident because, yeah. All right, let's go again. Let's go there. We'll go uh, bullseye on the weapons. And I'm going to go a bit evasive as well. And we'll do that and then we can hit again. Let's go again. There we are. Smashed you to bits. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, we'll crush it. Yeah, we'll probably just get rid of that. Uh, we've got to be getting close to our cargo limit as well, actually. Uh, what are we doing on the cargo hull? Actually, we're all right. Never mind. We're fine. We are absolutely fine. Um, our missiles are coming down a little bit, so we might want to uh, restock those. Um, and oh, I didn't charge my bloody drones again. I keep forgetting that. God damn it, Pin. Get it right. Well, I think, again, I'm just going to sit here and let these recharge and go off cooldown because, as I say, I don't see any reason not to. Why would I not have hundred go into a fight with 100% accuracy when it doesn't cost me anything other than sit here for two minutes? So I will see you in a minute. Right, there we go. It's just gone off cooldown. And also, if you're doing that, just hit this a couple of times and you can go uh, 1.5 speed. So it just goes down a little bit faster. So you don't have to hit sit here for quite two minutes. So uh, that's really good. Yeah, I just, I'll say, I don't see why you wouldn't do that. That seems like a really good tactic to me. So I'm just going to stick with it. It's working out well. So, I mean, should we make our way back? I think we might make our way back to the shop because we've got loads of money. At the same time, though, I kind of want to clear this out. What was our supplies like? Yeah, we got loads of supplies, so... We could just clear this whole sector out, couldn't we, really? Yeah, screw it. Let's do that. I mean, I don't know if we'll get to do that today, but we'll uh, we'll get to it, and then we'll get back to the shop. Sell off everything. Upgrade maybe in the next episode. We've got a ton of scrap to do some upgrades. Uh, good day to you, Captain. Uh, this is the corporate agent for the new reign speaking. I'd like to suggest you hunt down a captain who has been uh, raiding our trader ships. Uh, nothing special, purely business. Okay. The murder contract has been approved. Oh, okay. Well, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound quite so nice. Murder contract. Uh, oh, they're in here. Okay. Oh, well, we could do that as well. Uh, we're going to jump here. And then that was like a black hole, wasn't it? I keep forgetting that one. Yeah, it's a black hole. Uh, let's come here, then we'll go there, there, and then maybe we'll do this contract as well. But I'm kind of thinking of just getting getting to the getting back. I think that's probably a better idea because we can then jump from there to it and get it. So yeah, let's just clear this sector up. And we'll get back to the shop, I think, because we got loads of upgrades to come, and we'll use the scrap again as much as we can, save a bit of cash. They can be dangerous, so uh, pilots try to avoid them. Such dangers are facing you right now. Okay, brilliant. Oh, this. All right. Whoa. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Two hundred shield. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna jump out of this one as soon as I can. Um. Wow. Let's hit all of that as best as we can and we can drop the maneuverability although I'm kind of thinking maybe just ripping the shield down um, but at the same time they've got so much maneuverability we kind of have to do that um, oh boy you're injured as well oh everyone's injured as well I forgot to heal them oh for damn it and I haven't got any good rockets launched but that's going to take so long to uh, reload those so I'm going to leave that uh, put those on as well get both of those up and running because we're going to need these um, we are absolutely going to need these. And then I'm going to go bullseye. I'm going to shred some of their shield off. And I'm going to also go so we get 90% evasion. And I'm going to just try and dodge. And I'm getting out here. I mean, we'll see how we do with this first one too. But I'm not confident on this one. So let's uh, let's just try and uh, get rid of them if we can. Right. Wow. And then I'm just jumping out here as soon as we get. Wow, actually. I mean. I mean. We're not doing too bad, are we? Uh, let's power that up. And we'll get some more evasion going as well. We might be able to take these guys down, actually. Uh, let's aim rockets at the shields and try and knock those out next. And we'll keep. The, we'll keep that firing at those and we'll get that to fire at the fire at the weapons as well. We might be able to knock those out. Do you know what? Let's fire that at the weapons as well. 
and then we'll get number three to fire at the shields. So there we go. Right, let's do this. Although they are probably... Whoa, we took it out. Damn, I did not think I was going to do that. Whoa. Uh, the battle is over. You are victorious. Just a pity, just a pity that one was here uh, to witness your... No one was here to witness your triumph. Okay. All right, well, that's fine. I mean, yeah, this has been kind of stuck on for the entire game, but that's fine. So, yeah, again, I think we just sit here and let this charge up, let everything dissipate. Um, ooh, that still... Does that actually ever come off cool now that we're out of battle? That's a bit of a shame. Uh, but everything else is ticking down. So, again, I'm just going to speed up time, sit here, and let this go down. I think it's a bit of a cheese tactic, but it's like, why not? Right, there we go. That's all done. I've then healed everyone as well, so everyone's back up to full health while I was just waiting for that to tick along. Um, so let's go to the star map, and I want to get the hell out of here now. Um, so I'm thinking just bouncing along here, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll, t we'll probably work these ones later on. I, that that fight had me worried, so I think just get back to the space station. We've got like a ton of what's that what's that cargo hold like actually? Yeah, we've still got plenty of cargo hold. Yeah, screw it. Let's keep going. Although, no, food's fine. Uh, I was going to say, our um, I just noticed our fuel was only six, but it's because we've got an, a full stack of fuel. So, yeah, that's yeah, great. Let's jump over here. Why not? I'm feeling confident, which is probably bad, but there we go. The, oh, it's a black hole as well, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, our maneuverability. Uh, the nearest casino station. Oh, okay. Play and listen close. Uh, yeah, 66, 75, uh, 26 welcomes you, code name Croupier. Uh, our, our nearby branch requires a new stock of playing chips, sending a delivery request. Seize the chance to rob the casino, uh, accept the task for the transport and the chips. Let's go with that. Everybody needs chips. Yeah, Venators are here. That's kind of what I figured. Okay. Oh, that shield thing's all up again as well. Fair enough. Ooh, this one's pretty weak source. I think just a good round of rockets. We might just be able to take it down with the lasers, but we'll see. Uh, let's go. Let's just give it a full Monty. There we go. That's just... It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the rockets are going down. That's my main concern. But um, hopefully, the, hopefully the space stations can resupply me. But... Damn, this thing is a beast right now. We are doing really well. Um, I probably just jinxed us. Uh, let's jump over to here. And then we'll try and get back to the space station if we can. There we go. Uh, refugee miners are trying to contact you. You can ignore them like uh, New Rain or answer them. Uh, listen to them. There we go. The miners tell you their story. They fled the huge station. Cited by Rahiki, the Venators aren't interested and they beg your help. Get their friends out. Oh, okay. So we've got a. Oh, great. Venators as well. Destroy a class ship. Got another mission. That's great. Another one. Yeah. Again, we're just going to give you the full beans. Actually, I'm going to hold off with that one and we're going to use the speed fire rockets and we'll see if this works because in theory we should with a few hits we should be able to shred the shields and then uh, if this kind of thing can get three three or four if this could get four hits in it would take it down on its own the whole wise um you know with everything else firing as well just save the rockets if you can yeah there we go that's good we may have just been able to use the laser on that one as well and i didn't fire up the drones either i keep forgetting that and there we go no Okay, another one. Fair enough. Round two. Well, you've got even less shields. Let's just use the lasers and see if we can save on the right there. We'll fire a speed fire. I got 21. Let's fire a speed fire off. Yeah. <laughs> we are just a wrecking machine with this thing. Damn. There we go. Yeah, our bounty is crazy high though, so... Uh, yeah, we, we don't want to be hanging around in this system too long. Um, so I think really, uh, we've got that one. I've got those chips as well. Oh, man. 
I could jump over there, but I think I'm just going to get to the uh, space station. Let's just jump to the space station and we'll kind of call it, I think. If we can get out here and don't get attacked by anything. Nope, let's go. Let's go to the space station. That's perfect place to end it. We've got 479 scraps. So we can get a ton of stuff upgraded. I think more shields, more maneuverability, maybe another weapon module. And I'm starting to think maybe med bays and uh, getting these doors. Uh, just so we've got a set of armored doors. So if we do get anybody, um, these are, you know, basically paper mache. They're just going to rip rip through them in no time. I think they actually open. Is it? I seem to remember actually an FTL. They just opened. Like the people could just use them. So, they, you, you know, they weren't there at all. Um, so putting a crew member on would, would strengthen those up. But I think just having some armored internal doors would be quite nice. Um, just to prevent any boarding actions because boarding actions we're not going to do great at so um, I think that's a good thing uh, but anyway I think I'm going to call it here and I'm going to end the episode so if you like that one please give me a thumbs up comment your thoughts down below subscribe for more I really do appreciate it stay safe out there everyone and I'll catch you next time